Yo, what's going on guys? It is Del J. We are back with some more Fire Emblem Fates Lunatic Conquest. Last time I forgot Ophelia existed and today we're gonna go on to Valoria. Yeah, I can't believe I forgot that Ophelia of all people, the first Conquest kid that I got, is in fact not available on the Birthright route. Of course, Siegbert's map was pretty tricky as well. I... I really feel that like a lot of maps in Conquest though, it comes down to... That moving man, that moving man. <laughs> a lot of people... <laughs> uh, I saw some people say that, oh my god, you have so many mounts. And yeah, yeah, I do. And this game doesn't really stop you from doing that. Not particularly. I have plenty of good infantry, but then I also have plenty of... La Slows as well, so... Eh. <laughs> we do what we can, man. Oh my god, wait. Yeah, there's a lot of... There's a lot of mounts. Oh my god. <laughs> oh lordy lord. Well, I don't know, man. Maybe the game should punish me for it then, huh? How about a beast killer? You ever heard of that? They exist. You can use those. <laughs> it was pretty interesting to hear your perspectives on the whole PvP element, though. I don't think I have ever played a single match of Fates PvP just simply because coming up with a good team is oh, it's so impossible on cart, you know what I mean? You basically have to spend the entire game playing through Revelation just so that you can have a competent PvP team. And that's just like, oh, that's too much work, man. What they need is a Fire Emblem Showdown. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Pokemon. There's a, there's a website called Pokemon Showdown where you can just build a team and battle other people that way. That's what they need for Fire Emblem, man. That would have been so much better. Because seriously, trying to play through the game not once but multiple times if you want to have multiple different teams... Like, let's say I want to use one of the kids, right? And the two sets that I want to use on these kids are totally different. Like, I saw somebody post those Miracle Midori sets, which is pretty cool. But you can never do both of those on the same game file. Because they require different parents. So, <laughs> I don't know, man. That just sounds awful. Could you imagine having to play through Revelation nine times just, just so you could have nine different teams? That's way too much for me, man. What's hopefully not too much is Paralog 18. Nutty family. Keaton sets out for the gate to a deep realm in order to meet with his daughter Valoria. Upon reaching the forest along the way, however, his group is set upon. Who would set upon Camilla? I just don't know. I just don't know. And hey! Hey! I don't want to hear anybody say that I only sent Camilla to the boss. No, Mozu killed Nicole. Mozu killed Nicole. Mozu's the broken one here. I don't want to hear anybody say it differently. Ah, Little Red Riding Hood. I'm sure that everybody and their mom has made that joke by now, but... <laughs> it's just too obvious, man. It's just too obvious. Try harder next time, game. Ooh, cool. There's so many acorns around here. They have such a nice scent, too. So earthy, so rich. Oh, acorns. I should find the very nicest one and give it to Daddy as a present. Maybe if I pick a fresh one from one of those trees... Huh? What's up there? Behind those branches. It looks like some sort of weird portal. <laughs> what? That scent. I'd recognize that scent anywhere. It smells like my daddy. You know, I'd make a joke about that, but she is technically like a beast person, so sure. Ah, we're almost there. Now, where's that darn portal exactly? My daughter Valoria is beyond it, in her deep realm. <laughs> I'm looking forward to meeting your daughter. Kaze, stop laughing. It's not that funny. I'm looking forward to meeting your daughter. You said she's more like you than her mother, right down to the tail. Yep. Yep, pretty much exactly like me. Except that she prefers her own company. A real lone wolf. She's not used to being around others. You might find her overwhelming. She really wears her heart on her sleeve. Like, really, really. <gasps> Wait, who's there? Watch out, trouble approaches. These what? guys again. So you guys did actually explain that not all Deep Realms are within that place, which must not be named. <laughs> Seriously, I'm lucky to be alive, man. I've said it like four or five times now. I should be dead. I should be dead. But not every Deep Realm le leads to the same place. It's just a similar concept or something of that nature. And I've been meaning to bring this up for a while, but somebody did actually explain why Azora doesn't take the group back to that place. It's because... Well, in Revelation, it does explain that it's a limited time only thing, of course. 
Of course, I completely forgot about that. Can you blame me, man? How many times do you think I played Revelation seriously? That is the only game in the series where I did not make it a point to keep everybody alive by the end of the game. Even in Birthright, I made darn sure that I had 100% survival just because, I don't know, that's how I like to play Fire Emblem. I feel like it's a little bit more challenging that way, you know what I mean? Because some of these people are scrub. <laughs> God, don't even get me started on the Wolf Guard again, man. I could talk about that all day, but you, you know what I mean, though? And... Revelation was the only game in the series where I was like, nah, I don't really care. <laughs> I just wanted to see the ending that bad. <laughs> what? It seems we're about to be ambushed. <sighs> but essentially, Valor can only be entered under a certain time period, and it's marked by the skies switching over the endless, uh, the endless canyon back from way at the beginning of the game. So when they switch you can't go back to Vela anymore is the basic gist of it and I assume that even though the game doesn't call attention to that in Conquest that's probably the reason that Azura never brings the team back there but if that is the case they should have brought that up in Conquest even if it's not nearly as important to the plot you know what I mean because now somebody like me who hasn't played Revelation in forever or somebody who's never played Revelation at all is totally confused because I don't know, maybe it's just me, but to a logical person, you would think that Azura could just take the group back there, you know what I mean? It is explained, though, just not in Conquest, unfortunately. Not the best timing. I hate to keep Valoria waiting, but I'm game for a fight. Me and my level 10? Okay, man. You know, his pair of bonuses are still pretty good, from what I remember. I did take a brief look at this, and what I'm thinking is this. We're gonna try to silence lock these guys, because... These dragon veins that you're seeing right here can silence all units for one turn, preventing everybody on the map from using magic. Now, this is a little bit misleading because it actually silences your characters for both the player phase that you use it and the player phase after. So, you can't really hit these dragon veins and then still be able to use your magic users effectively, you know what I mean? So, you do need to keep that in mind. Not that I would know that or anything from failing this map, I'm not... <laughs> okay, yeah. In all transparency, the first time I played this map, I definitely got bopped by that because... It doesn't really explain that very well, I don't think. But like I say, we're gonna try to silence lock these guys for as long as possible. And... That should get us pretty far here because... If all these mages can't do anything to us, that means we can focus on clearing out all these melee fighters. And if we clear the melee fighters, then... By the time we're out of Dragon Veins to use, we'll have more than enough people to kill these mages as well. And I think I'm going to try to focus on killing some of the mages while they're silenced on top of all that, just because these are the strongest guys on the map by far. Look at that, 48 attack hitting res, are you serious? What are they feeding these guys in Vela? Uh, some silver bows, that could be a little scary, but the nice thing about silencing the mages is that because they can't counterattack you it does mean that they can't say break your shield gauge potentially so if I have a full shield gauge I can like attack this guy while being in range of this guy with like Camilla or Percy or something and they'll be okay as long as they have a shield gauge so that's about where we're at with that now Valoria is not actually here yet but she does show up uh turn two or turn three or something like that very early on in the map, at any rate. Oh, I didn't pass her some skills. Can I do that from here? Because her mother is... Oh, right. Her mother was... Uh... Well, Elbow Room is not so bad. No, 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 no. Keaton paired up with Azura. Keaton paired up with Azura. So I can't do anything, can I? No, not really. That's fine. I think she actually comes with the luck base to go though, so that could be that could be all right, I guess. All right, let's give it a shot. Hmm? Oh, Keaton, come on now. Huh? I'm picking up the slightest scent of wolfskin somewhere. To the west? Yes, on the other side of those mountains. Who could it be? Yes, Keaton, who could it be? Yeah, thank you. Oh no, it's Valoria. Of course. There are so many other wolfskin around here. But how? I've never shown her where the portal is on her side. It can't be her. 
But that's definitely her scent coming from the west. So they are. They're, they're just set up in fixed locations. How weird. I guess it wouldn't be the first time this game has done something like that, though. Not, not Fate specifically, but Fire Emblem as a whole, right? Because you think back to the Dragon's Gate in Fire Emblem 7. And that was kind of like what this is, right? Is that what... So did the dragons live in a deep realm or what? Because I know they're been, like, they've been trying to connect the series lately. Which, I, I have mixed feelings on that. Honestly, I think they probably would do better to just make them as standalone stories. In a lot of ways. The whole Awakening thing was kind of neat. You could almost count that as a sequel, really. Uh, a sequel to the Arcania games, I mean. But I, I don't see how everything fits together. Like, where is Magvul in all this? Where is Fire Emblem 8 land in all of this? Hell, where is... Where is Fates in all of this? Because... If you played the Before Awakening DLC, it's either Krom or Lisa, but one of them mentions that Hoshido and Nor are actually supposedly legendary kingdoms in their time. In a Krom and Elise, uh, not Elise, Krom and Lisa's time, that is. So in, in Awakening, Hoshido and Nor are supposedly lost kingdoms, basically, which would make awakening the most recent game in the series in terms of the timeline i guess i don't know we're, we're getting into like some zelda territory with this crap man i don't know i don't know if it's worth it it can't be her that's definitely her scent coming from the west she should be here in about two turns let's route the enemy let's go one or two turns i can't remember exactly but ophelia can go ahead and silence these fools right now there's absolutely no real reason i don't think to not do this. I can't think of any good reasons, can you? Uh, hmm. Now, Camilla, we're gonna move her all the way in to uh, where Azura can dance for her, basically. Looks like she can literally go all the way in, so that's exactly what we are gonna do. And Azura's gonna sing for her somehow. I thought you were silenced, Azura. What happened? What happened? Uh, I'm actually gonna do your turn, at least for the first turn, because... Uh, Camilla's gonna be getting a lot of these guys, let me just tell you right now, for free. Probably should've put Lunge on, dude, in all honesty, because... That way we can move through the forest a little bit more quickly. That is one really good thing that you could do with a Lunge skill, right? It's sort of like... A shove and swap from this game, because you can... You can basically move through terrain. Regardless of the terrain cost, right? A tile is a tile, but... If I swap onto a forest position, for example, with a paladin, then I only used one tile, if that makes sense. It doesn't really come into play like that, but it is something. I, I guess. <laughs> Go ahead and take you. Oh, shoot. That was supposed to be the other way around. I, I guess it doesn't really matter, right? Yeah, right about there with Percy should be good. Now we can take Azura and do the whole dance thing. Oh, man, that actually is so much worse, though. I was supposed to... Hmm. Level up for Azura. I was supposed to use dang old... Oh. Sophie to do this, though, because dude obviously wants to be in the front, so I guess we're using Sophie a little bit more. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, if anything, though, I can just... Okay, no. I see a better way to do it, then. I can use Mozu to actually drop off, dude, which might actually be what I wanted to do all along. In seriousness. In all seriousness, that seems to be a little bit better. That's making a lot more sense to me right now. Yeah. And Percy does need the rally for this, unfortunately. He is... He's a little bit weak. I'm so surprised, because... Camilla's his mother, so by default, he should have about 50 strength, I would think. Right? I don't know, maybe my math was a little bit off, but... The numbers seem to indicate that Camilla is broken. So, what's your deal, Percy? I'll take that positioning, though. Uh, that actually does matter a little bit, because just from eyeballing it, if he was, like, here, then this guy couldn't reach him. And if I attack this faceless, then I can't, I can't lunge, basically, because if I lunge, then these two can't attack me. I mean, I guess they're going to attack Camilla more likely than not. But getting this guy over here is good for sure. Yeah, I'll just drop off Dude with Mozu, though. 
seems to make an awful lot of sense to me. Put her right about there. Uh, let's see here. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now we're for sure gonna need somebody to hang out on these sports, so Leo can be there, I guess. Seems to make some amount of sense. Oh, they're gonna go for dude. The fools, the fools, why? How silly can you be? I suppose she has very little defense comparatively. Oh no. Oh no, not the seal speed. Come on, man. <laughs> That's not what we wanted to see. That's not what we wanted to see at all. Does she even double still? Yes, she does. That's my girl. So, Walking Miller is wrecking this entire squad. <laughs> I wanted to thank you guys for the overwhelming amount of support on the first Echo's part. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, it seemed to me that some of you guys wanted me to go a lot more in depth for the next one, so that's exactly what's going to be happening, by the way. So, don't you worry. It was honestly just going to be sort of a brief overview at first, but... I don't know, I've been looking at a lot of the maps and stuff lately, and it... It's not that hard for me to, like, theorycraft everything that I did, you know what I mean? And also, it's been a lot of fun to look at the game again, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. So I'm glad that you guys seem to like that. I... I don't know when the next one will be up, though. Probably over the weekend, I would say, because... I spent a lot of time editing the next part as well, and I've sort of reworked the entire commentary from the ground up, because like I say, it was originally going to be like a brief overview type thing, but it might end up being closer to like a three-parter or so, because, well, hold on. Let's not throw now. Leo can hit that one. Okay, good. That's what I wanted to see. We'll silence these guys again. Yeah, as you can see here, though, by the way, silence lasts for more than one turn. On your side, anyways. I imagine it goes away on the enemy phase, but it doesn't really let you do a whole lot for player phase, which is the bigger issue here. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I've been reworking the entire thing from the ground up, basically, because... Do we have a gauge? We actually don't have a gauge. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, wow. That did not work out very well. <laughs> I'm sorry. At any rate... I want to go into more detail because it wasn't like that at first, so I would expect like a weekend upload. Oh my god, this went left so hard. It's a good thing this map theme is so good. <laughs> Here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. So Azura can hitch a ride with Mozu and then dance for dude. Uh, we got to kill this guy though in that case somehow. But let's say I did and then I put dude right here. These three guys should funnel themselves into Dude because she takes the most damage. At which point, Camilla and Percy can deal with this guy. I want to say, I would have, again, I really, I wanted to kill these dang old. A status stab, but I guess that's not happening. Also, uh, while I was thinking about updates that don't really have too much to do with this video, uh, I, I went and got my spare TV from my parents' house. It was my mother's birthday over the weekend, so I got to go over there. Anyway, so it was like a two-for-one deal, really. It's her 35th birthday, again. Go figure. But I got a Spirit TV because I want to try and do like a test stream sometime this week-ish, just to see if just to see if everything's gonna work out with the whole awakening playthrough. So that's about where we're at with that. Just for a quick update for you guys. It's coming, don't you worry. These are our last three right here. At which point, it's all awakening, baby. Uh, so we... We refresh, dude. We gotta put her here, though. She still has 100% accuracy, thankfully. And I should imagine that they will, again, funnel themselves into her. Because she takes the most damage here. And she's so damn strong that she doesn't care about any of that rally stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. That's for weaklings like Percy. Percy with his 39 defense. You are weak. Or 30, 39 strength. You're weak, kid. So somehow, dude is actually... <laughs> wait... Man, that's the power of passives, I guess. Wow. Now, truthfully, can these guys move on to the mountaintops or what? Because if not... Oh, God. Camilla, why are you this strong? I thought you were sealed. I thought you were sealed. What happened? Okay, well, that's certainly a lot easier. I guess I had Percy all along. In which case, I would have moved... Damn. Why didn't I check that? Why did I doubt Camilla? Wow. I'm just blown away. 
I am just blown away. I should really be attacking around this guy anyways, because these uh, Dark Knights all have Wary Fighter. So I can't really double them. And any kind of chip should be appreciated, I want to say. Move Ophelia here. In the off chance of reinforcements. I know they show up eventually. Yeah, moving Mozu in is a no-go. I mean, I can move her here, right? Yeah. Yeah, we can get this guy down to half. That seems like a good place to start. Maybe we press? <clears throat> no, dude. Why would you proc anything? I agree. Uh, Percy, though, could probably just kill him if I want to. I might want to. I also might want to not die. Hold on. <laughs> and I also really like to not block the way because... Yeah. I don't want to block the way. Because if I moved him here, then these guys would attack Percy instead. Oh, I guess, though, at this point, it doesn't matter, does it? Uh, the bigger issue, though, would be that I need the hand axe for that, right? I was thinking about killing that dark... Uh, the dark knight sitting on the ballista. Or the fire orb, rather. But it doesn't seem like a good idea. I'd rather just do this, take out one of the state of stats, if nothing else. I guess there's two more to go and one more turn of silence. I guess it doesn't matter too much that we uh, lost out on the first wave of these faceless because they're going to die on this enemy phase anyways. Only thing that really changed, I guess, was shield gauge, I guess. Something like that. Shield gauge, I suppose, would be the consideration with that. But, ah, we'll be fine. Come on now. Oh, I can turn these back on, I suppose. Why does she do 33 through being sealed? I don't understand. Now, why would it play the danger music here? The dude is silenced. Come on now. Well, if you insist, I'll take that easy kill. Easy, easy kill. Yeah, here's Valoria. Daddy. Daddy! Is that you? Valoria? Uh, is this how they greet each other if you're a wolf skin? Okay, I don't want to think about that. <laughs> Valoria, by all the hair in my ears, what are you doing here? <laughs> I was hunting for just the right gift for you when I caught your scent. Then I found the portal to your world. I can't believe I found you, my dear, daring, dashing daddy. Okay, yeah, you guys <laughs> were dead on. So I guess this is the daddy's girl. I, That's my uh... fault. Not Sophie. Valoria. I, uh, those are a lot of these. <laughs> you leave Camilla out of this. Let's save the tail wagging until later, Valoria. We're in trouble here. Oh. Oh, are we? How about I lend a hand, or a paw? I've been perfecting my hunting skills off in my deep realm. I'm fiercer than the last time you saw me, daddy. Oh, she's not wrong, this is one of the better kids. Like, in terms of raw stats, Valoria is pretty damn good. Uh, I'm probably just gonna promote her immediately, and she can, I assume that she can 1v1 this single faceless as long as I kill this adventurer. Now see, it would've been nice if shield gauge had worked out in a way that would let me force them to move sooner. Now, is there a way I can actually kite this guy without having her run to the corner? I, I doubt it. I really do. So, Valoria is going to move here. Valoria is going to move here. And use the offspring seal. We don't want to give them a terrain if we don't have to. What's the forecast looking like? I guess that doesn't really help. I'm going to say be stone makes more sense. Right? Because, well, we can, we can check, I guess. She's going to lose a point of speed. He's going to put her up to 34. The beast rune can double, right? Yeah, it can. Alright, beast rune it is then. We'll give her the beast rune and use the offspring seal. She only has one promotion choice. Same thing with Keaton. I know we didn't get to show that off necessarily, but... Valoria is just better Keaton, in my opinion. And unlike Keaton, she's actually got so much going for her that it kind of makes up for the fact that she's one range locked to an extent. First of all, she has a much better palette, in my opinion, so there's always that. But more importantly, her stats are better. Speaking of better, better odds, and Grizzly Wound, and B rank for her weapon. And a lot of that matters because it's it's sort of hard to get Keaton there all by himself. This game isn't like an old school Fire Emblem game that has a lot of two range or anything like that. There's enough. 
but for the most part you can usually find a way to counter kill whatever enemy you're facing and as long as Valoria is facing a one range enemy she is pretty darn good Keaton's not too bad either like don't get me wrong it's just his issues are more noticeable because the stats are worse uh, she has this is her personal skill goody basket Recover 10 HP at the start of each turn, luck percent of the time. She's only got 27 luck, actually. But she's also guaranteed to restore 40% every other turn. Which is pretty nice. And she gets this for free most of the time, unlike Keaton, who has to earn it himself. As somebody at SYI usually compare the parent to the kid, it's because they usually share the same class. And in terms of long-term use the kid is usually almost always better because they automatically adhere to their average stats like if you take Valoria well this is probably not a good example I guess Silas and Sophie would have been the better example but Sophie here has better everything especially durability and that's the big one people call this game low HP emblem for a reason honestly because you can look at a character like Silas who has good defenses statistically but then you look at his HP pool and it's just it's so bad it's so bad compared to any of the kids really shoot where's Ophelia Ophelia has significantly more HP than Silas and her raw defenses aren't quite as good but if I had left her a dark knight they would actually be better than Silas so regardless of the fact that as long as you can hit an offensive benchmark that's that's enough right so if Silas can hit an offensive benchmark that is good in my opinion the problem is Sophie can do the same thing and she also has much better durability and don't even get me started on Odin versus Ophelia oh my lord it's a blowout uh, hit the silence vein once again please no reinforcements right now please no reinforcements right now or I am probably dead I should probably look these up a lot more closely in advance now, honestly, does Valoria have more defense? No, she doesn't. That could have been something, I guess, but she doesn't, so... We'll move here to take out this guy. Can't let him attack Valoria. Or at least I'd rather him not. So we can do that, and it's also going to Savage Blow. The Dark Knight. So that's going to help out a little bit when we need to take him on. Let's see, I can... I can get two kills with dude if I wanted to. Yeah, it seems to make sense to me. Let's have dudes start putting in some work here. She's probably going to need to go hard south in all honesty because there's still way too many adventurers. She can actually just straight up kill the first one right now, which is probably what's going to be happening. Yeah, it seems to make sense to me. You got to die, my man. Get one shot. How does it feel? Tell me how that feels. Let me know in a comment below. <laughs> oh, man. Only 147. Only 147. Only killed his entire generation of family. And these guys. They're gonna pop back now. I can send Percy back this way, though. Of course, it's not perfect. It's certainly not perfect. How well does Moza do here? I'll tell you what. I can roll on this guy. Yeah, I can roll on that guy. And then I can actually rally for Moza and Percy and then kill the other staff user seems to make some amount of sense to me assuming we kill this guy which we do that was a little bit risky I suppose ever so slightly yeah yeah rally man back at it again with the brokenness uh, this seems to be good either or doesn't really matter just take him out out of my hair that's all I care about man oh nice one Percy Nice one. And unfortunately, these guys are more or less done. I mean, Elise can come back in a few turns. In two turns, to be precise. And it is just Ophelia. Yeah, okay. We're not looking too bad. Valoria's the only one getting hit here. Wow, she actually does a fair amount by herself. Had I buffed up Camilla's strength lore, this would be... Actually, no, when she savagely blew that guy. That's right. This guy's going to be dropped all the way to one, though, because of Grizzly Wounds, which is really nice. 
Because that ability goes up all day, every day, regardless of whether or not you initiate an attack or not. Which basically makes it a strict upgrade from Poison Strike. Yeah, I don't think I can finish these guys, because this guy has Wary Fighter. What does this guy have? He also has Wary Fighter, so yeah, that's probably not happening. Not where I can see. We, we do so much damage, but... He, he does more, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because... I don't know, I, I just don't like my chances there, so instead... I mean, I could go for this, I really want to. Because then dude could kill that guy with Percy's help, I think. Especially if I rally him right now. Yeah, if I rallied him, that would be a done deal. Is Camilla finish you yet? Oh my, they're so tanky! They're so t 28 defense, wow, I didn't really fully process that. <laughs> Seems to make sense to have Valoria finish what she started here. Actually, I should have moved her to the south and drew this guy in with me. He's not gonna retreat or anything. Yeah, he would have come right to me. Hello. I could have even vulnerary her up a little bit. Yeah, what am I doing? What am I doing? It'd be better to have her down here. Because this is where all the remaining enemies are. Okay, so what if dude killed you? No, this works. This works. I'm feeling pretty good about this one so far. I mean, yeah, we had a little bit of bad luck right off the start, but we pulled it back. We pulled it back. So we do that. This guy's now in one. Anybody can kill you. We're now in range. Let's dance on up. Oh. She can't make it back. Help. She can't make it back. Help. <laughs> oh, no. Tell you what. We can go at this guy. Yeah, we'll go at this guy with dude then in that case. I want to get these guys off these fire orbs, basically. <sighs> Why would I grit? <sighs> <laughs> Just jokes, obviously. 25% is not very, uh, not what I would call reliable, to say the least. This is looking pretty decent. 40 percenter. Bows, who can easily kill you. And she should, right? I assume. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm actually gonna go with Percy first, because this way, if I miss, then I get a chance to dual attack. Why does Percy double the adventurer? Huh? I know I gave him rally speed, but oh my god, this kid. This kid! He's unbeatable. He's actually just unbeatable. I wish the Wyvern Lord luck cap were higher. <laughs> now, I do think that Camilla passes him a luck penalty, which has something to do with this, but... I don't know, man. I feel like he should have more luck. I really wish that he did. Just for the sake of the joke, really, if nothing else. I know it wouldn't really change anything about him as a unit, but... I don't know, man. I do know that this is a bad idea, isn't it? Because he could attack me. I'm so scared to do that, but I also really want to. <laughs> if anything, it's going to be dude's group that gets attacked. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave... I'm going to leave you right here with the dual club equipped. I should imagine you should go for Camilla, though, right? Because he could technically kill her. You right back there, my man. I don't want any kind of... I don't want any kind of struggles with reinforcements or anything like that. We can drop Sophie back off now. Alright. Looking good. Looking good. Only a few more rounds of this crap. <gasps> what am I doing? Why would I put you there? I think I had a I had a stroke. Oh no. <laughs> Wow, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Guys, did you know to not leave your dancers exposed? Oh, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that guy didn't go for a kill shot. That guy didn't go for a kill shot. What? <laughs>
Not a bad one, Sophie. Not bad at all. Let's take this guy out. This is exactly why we brought the beast killer for you, girl. All right. I don't know. It just seems to make a lot of sense to me on her for a map like this. You know what I mean? Uh, Mozu might honestly be able to kill this guy with Valuria's help. So close. If she gets rallied, she can actually do it right now. Which might be exactly what we're doing. Now this guy. And we still have this guy to worry about too now. So you mean to tell me? Oh, wow. I was going to say, because it looks like Azura can't move that far. And you mean to tell me? <laughs> Are we seeing the same thing I am? This is Woods. This is Woods somehow. These are what? What? <laughs> oh, but this, <laughs> this isn't Woods. You could tell that at a glance, right? Obviously. What are you, some kind of peasant? Why would this not be a <laughs> plain style? Of course, obviously. Similarly, this is clearly woods. This is the forest if I've ever seen. Oh my god, this game. Because it really felt like I was getting bottlenecked here way harder than I should be. These are all woods too? Are you... Alright, fine. Let's say it makes sense. What are we going to do with that information? Like I say, though, we probably want dude to kill you. We can start with that because it is the safest possible way here. Kind of wishing that uh, old Percy here had the dual club, but... We'll take what we can get, man. Ooh, dual club not needed. All right, all right. Yeah, we're just a little bit away from that guy, but I suppose... She doesn't. There's no way. Oh, my God, she does. Okay, so... <laughs> so here's how we do this. Oh, this is such a huge risk, though. But I... Ooh, I'm about those turns. <laughs> there we go. Now Percy can kill this guy. Perfect. Perfect. So we can even use the Iron Axe for maximum accuracy. And I'm 99% sure that once dude gets danced right here, she will for sure be able to take out that last remaining Dark Knight. With combination of Camilla Duel attack. Or so that's my theory. Yep. Yeah, easily. Easily, and I'm gonna give her the old dual club back at this point because that's just gonna guarantee we get this guy. Yeah, you're done. Animations can become oh my god, all these crits. See, this is what I'm talking about. It happens in every game, man. There's always that one point where everybody decides to be really broken, and I guess we're at that point. Probably just because I finally stopped deciding to use bronze weapons for 90% of the game. I'm sure it would have happened much sooner, I just never had the chance to notice, really. But we take the guy out with Valoria's help. And now it's just these few losers. I wonder if there would have been a better way to do that. To, like, take them out right here. I feel like it would have needed more physical units, though. I have a decent blend of magic users by this point, so I just... Okay. All right. <laughs> I thought I was done. But no! Uh, so Sophie... There's one for Sophie. Dude is just simply too far away, unfortunately. Seems pretty smart to use a dance on her, but here's the trick with this because if I'm engaging these guys in melee Then that means First of all, what are these bonuses? They're enough actually. So that's probably how we kill one of them So we kill one with Mozu 
But like I say, we don't want to be in melee too, too deep now because these guys can all attack me then. So I guess our best way of dealing with this group would be the likes of dual attacks then. To try and defeat them without suffering any kind of counterattack. Or at least that seems to make some amount of sense to me. Bozu can... She can do this because... I'm going to kill these five for sure. Because, I mean, I basically have to. It's not as though I really want to necessarily. Let's see, would 23 plus 12 be not nearly enough? So I think that it's time we start getting some savage blows going. Camilla has 31. Here's the trick. No, no trick. No trick. Because if I kill these guys and have the dual club equipped, she will not die. So. But if she gets hit, she's very dead. Huh. <laughs> Oh lord, not like this. So, seems to make some amount of sense to me to get dude in on this right now. Do I need to rally Elise? I don't see where I do, so I'm not going to so that I have more angles on these guys. And if we can get some savage blow action going on here, it should be a lot easier to take some of these guys out, I want to say. Hmm, but that guy in the north is a little bit of a trick now, isn't he? So I could throw a dude here, taking him out. Nope, that's exactly what we're doing. We take this one out with dude specifically. Yeah, and since she dies in one hit, thanks to that rally. Or thanks to the crit, I guess. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Jesus, dude. Uh, this is also a kill that cannot fail. So goodbye to you. It's been a lot of fun, man. At least may even be able to annihilate this guy via the old lightning. Oh, pff, my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot. He has 26 res. Even so. Oh, but of course, I'm not getting any kind of uh, I'm not getting any kind of boost from trample. Hello. No wonder. So it only seems to make sense to me to have Camilla go at this one. Because that way she cannot be countered. She will not be in range of the boss. I know that my math was sound on that, but it just makes more sense to not take the damage. Now with Elise, I say we go for the... Uh, no, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. What about here? Since Elise will get an attack stance from this, he will die in a single hit, or a single round. I'll turn the animations back now. But this seems to make some amount of sense to me. We have to get these guys out of here no matter what. Otherwise, they will definitely kill my ass. But I think we made some pretty decent use out of those silent spots, which is pretty much the key here, I want to say. Yeah, there's really no need to get aggressive with that. Not really. Turn these back on for the boss. I don't really see what he's doing at this point, though. I mean, yeah, I don't know if I've ever seen a situation where... The guy in the receiving end is more dead than this, but... With my entire team just chilling in the wings, waiting to murk this guy, I don't know, it's not looking so good. It's not looking so good, the whole squad's coming through. <laughs> what happened here? Oh, I'm Madaras. Okay, I'm like... <laughs> I'm tweaking. I'm tweaking. But... Is there some way I can, like... No, I can't even attack stands him if I wanted to, I suppose. So, let's just throw everybody at him. We're just gonna start throwing bodies. Camilla doesn't die, so we can start with her. Of course, he does have Vantage, which is pretty nasty, actually. That's pretty nasty. We can trade around the Duel Club, though, if we need to. Very, very safely. Of course, Camilla doesn't get the crit. Come on. She dodges at least, so that's always good. This guy is incredibly low. We should, in theory, be able to take him out no matter what. Advantage. No, that's no good. That's no good just yet. So it's gotta be Percy. It's gotta be. And if that's gonna be the case... Well, how much will this guy recover? Oh, he'll recover like 17, though. Oh, this is a little bit of a trick now, isn't it? But I think I see the way. So what we do, we'll rally first. Yeah, we'll rally first. 
at least can take the dual club away from Camilla at this point because this should be ending right here. And then Percy can come through, take the dual club away. And now this should be pretty good. Yeah, he's not getting anywhere near enough HP, even if he lands that 20. So, good night to problem number one. And then I honestly want to say this so if he can just merc the other guy. Oh, I, I, he could have got a vengeance, I suppose, but Percy would have survived regardless. Which is exactly why I wanted to use him for this specifically. So I put that guy into the dirt. I'll take that beast don't plus. I don't know, Valoria's like, like I said, I'm not really talking about these kids too, too much, but she's pretty good. Speaking of pretty good, uh, good game, I suppose. This guy can't do anything to me at this point. He only had the wary fighter, so. Wow, he doesn't even get the boss music. How sad are you? Yeah, there's Sophie's skill in action, by the way. <laughs> she strips people. I don't know how I feel about that, Sophie. Anyways, I really want to say that the big thing with this map is definitely just using those silence veins, man. It seemed like that was what led to the success there. Take out a few of the mages on your way through, and you should be okay, I want to say. It, it is important to kill them in advance, though, because you really can't deal with that whole situation without silence helping you out a little bit. Pretty creative use of the dragon veins, though. Fun map, fun map, for sure. Oh, the hunt is already over. That was fun. Thanks for arranging such a nice game, Daddy. This is just a game to you? Valoria, this is life and death. Um, that wasn't a game, Valoria. And life and death? You're no master of arms. I'm not exactly happy to see you here. You could have been hurt. Daddy? Daddy, I know I can see your tail wagging. I, I know you're happy to see me. <clears throat> what? My tail's twitching, that's all. I'm actually very, very, very angry with you, daughter. Stop it, you damn tail! Come on, no! You're exposing me! <laughs> now, Valoria, I want you to scamper back to your deep realm. Off with you, I'm busy. You know the way out. Cold. Hmm, watch your tone, daughter. No. No. I mean, yes, I'll watch my tone, but I'm not going back. I'm joining your pack, Daddy. Valoria? Valoria, this isn't a pack. We're, uh, comrades in arms or something. No way, never. Go now. <sighs> but, Daddy, I'm so confused. Your tail is wagging, yes. <sighs> hey, I just remembered. Before you, I went through the portal, I found this for you. The perfect acorn. Wow. Wow. That's the prettiest acorn I've ever laid eyes on. So glossy. It's like a pearl from a tree. Which reminds me, I have a gift for you too, daughter. Daughter? <laughs> you can call her by her name, man. This is getting kind of weird. This, I'm feeling some tension here. Here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. A bat. It's all shriveled. Its wings are ripped up. Did you chew on it? Daddy, it's perfect. <laughs> exactly. You really know the way to a girl's heart, Keaton. I... <laughs> You're wonderful. Uh, am I? Sure, why not? Sure, why not? I guess I am pretty awesome. Pretty bold words for somebody on the bench, bud. But as far as you coming with us... Oh, all right. <gasps> really? <laughs> wag, sniff, wag. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yes, they're dogs, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> that tickles, Valoria. All right, you're happy. I get it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just so glad to be a part of your pack at last, Daddy. <laughs> All right, all right. But it's not my pack, okay? That's not how this group works. Waggity, waggity, waggity. <laughs> See, if I can read that out loud and it sounds like that, maybe, maybe just give the script one more pass. I don't know, just... <laughs> oh, I'm just messing around, but... Oh, I don't know about all this. Ha, <laughs> there goes my tail again. Welcome, daughter. Welcome, 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 welcome. Did I mention this, but welcome. <laughs> okay, Daddy, settle down. Now you're embarrassing me. Well, that is nice. All that said, though, I know that the next two ones are worth a full video on their own, no doubt. Or so I would imagine. They're certainly much harder than that one, in my opinion. Uh, of course, I'm speaking in hindsight now. Obviously, now that I've beaten that map, of course I can be like, oh, that wasn't so bad. But y you get my point. The next ones are likely longer. I was going to do so late sooner, but somebody said that they would hate to see it be done last. So I got you, man. I got you. <laughs> I don't know. We'll do so or Nina tomorrow. Either way, thank you for watching. I hope that you all enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like rating. It helps me out, and I will catch you guys in the next one. See you then. Peace.